Hi, this is Ashley Gaska. Today, I'm going to talk about what is a GPA. So if you're not used to the American system of GPAs or you're not familiar with it, hopefully this video will help you understand what they are and how they're calculated. So let's begin. First of all, GPA stands for grade point average. Well, what does that mean? To put it simply, each of your classes is worth a certain number of points that you can earn. You could earn either the total amount or a portion of the points based on the grade you earned in that class. So this is the case in every single class or every single college that uses GPA. Each class is assigned a number of points on a scale of zero to four. Each of those numbers corresponds to a letter grade. So an A is four points, a B is three points, a C is two points, a D is one point, and an F is zero points. Another thing is credit hours. Each of your classes is also worth a specific amount of credit hours. Most of these courses are worth one credit hour, though some are worth 0.5 credits. So to graduate dual diploma, you must earn six credits, which is equal to seven courses, since five classes are one credit each, and then two are half a credit each. So to calculate your GPA, it's a very simple math equation. First, you must add together the number of points you've earned for each class. Then you must divide the sum by the number of credits. So here is an example. One thing you should know to understand this example is that all courses with dual diploma are worth one credit except for two courses, economics and US government, which are each worth half a credit. So John has earned the following grades, A in English, B in History, B in Life Management Skills, C in US History. As a result, John's points for each respective class are four, since the A is worth four points, three, since B is worth three, three again, and two, since C is worth two. So the first thing we're going to do is add the points together. Four plus three plus three plus two equals 12 points total. Now we're going to divide the total by the number of credits taken. He took classes that were all worth one point each. So he took four classes, so four points. So the class, uh, so 12 divided by four is three. So his final GPA is 3.0, which is a B. Let's practice with this scenario. Maria has earned the following grades in her courses. English one, she earned a B. English two, an A. Life management skills, a B. US history, a C. Economics, a B. US government, a B. And photography, an A. How many credits did she earn and what is her GPA? Take a second and pause the video if you would like to practice this and find out before seeing the answer. So, let's check and see how you did. Maria's grades correspond to the following points. B is three, A is four, C is two. And so, if you add together all of her points, the sum is 22 points. Now, another thing to consider is that Maria took seven classes, but two of them are only worth half a credit. She took five classes worth one credit each and two classes worth 0.5 credits each. So she has a total of six credits. Her GPA is the number of points, 22, divided by the number of credits, six. Therefore, her GPA is 22 divided by six, which is equivalent to 3.67, which is a B average. It's about a middle B. Now, how would her grade change if one of her grades, her grade in US history was a D instead of a C? 
So we're going to lower the number of points she got to a one instead of a two, so her new total is 21. She still has the same number of credits, and so 21 divided by six is 3.5. So just by getting one grade lower, she dropped her grade point average by 0.17 points, which is a pretty big drop. So an expectation that you need to remember is that to stay in the dual diploma program, you must maintain a 2.0 GPA, which is a C average. The best thing you should do is try to earn grades of a B or, or an A or B in all of your classes to maintain a high GPA. And a high GPA will also help you qualify for more colleges and universities if you plan to attend college in the United States. Thank you for listening. If you have any remaining questions for me about GPA and what that means, please feel free to reach out to me through Microsoft Teams or email. Thank you and have a great day.